Hello everyone, I'm Connie Huck and I hope that you're all ready for your Letters and Sounds phonics lesson today. Hello children, I'm Alex. Let's start our Letters and Sounds lesson and learn to read some new words. Let's begin by reading some phonemes that you already know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. This digraph says or. Are you ready? Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. Or, e, 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 o, 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 u, 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 u. Uh, uh, well done. Now it's time to mix the cards up so that they're in a different order. Let's see if you can read the graphemes on the cards now. I want you to read them aloud. Off you go. Great job. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. Ooh, or, e, 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 o, 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 Super sounds. Let's read some words with graphemes we already know. Can you spot the digraph? Yes, the digraph is or. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. K, L, or. Claw. A crab has big claws. Can you spot the digraph this time? You're right. The digraph is or. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. Yeah. Orn. Yawn. Oh, sorry, that was a big yawn. Can you spot the digraph? Yes, you're right. The digraph is E. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. E, P, E, T. Repeat. If you say something more than once, you are repeating yourself. Can you spot the digraph? That's right. The digraph is Q. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. F r e free qu e 
frequent. Frequent. Did you get it right? Well done. Can you spot the split vowel digraph? You're right. The split vowel digraph is oo. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. Ch, oo, n, June. June is the month after May. Final word. Can you spot the digraph? Brilliant. The digraph is oo. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the words. F, l, u, flu. Great reading. Time to mix them up. Are you ready? Let's see if you can read the words on the cards without any help. I think you can do it. Off you go. Read them aloud. Let's check. Read them with me. Frequent. June. Flu. Claw. Yawn. Repeat. Today we are learning to read a new way of writing the sound uh. 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 Copy me. Uh. Say it again. Uh. And again. Uh. One more time. Uh. Let's sound talk some words with the phoneme er. Uh. Copy me. Say the sounds and then see if you can blend the sounds to say the word. B erd. B erd. B erd. Bird. Birds flew in the sky. Copy me. Say the sounds then blend the sounds to say the word. F erd. F erd. Third, third. The third number when we count from one is three. Let's sound talk our final word. Copy me. Say the sounds, then blend the sounds to say the word. Sh, ert. Sh, ert. Shirt. A shirt is a piece of clothing that we wear on the top of our body. It has buttons down the front. We already know the sound er is written like this. You know that. And also like this. But there is another way to write the sound er and it looks like this. Let's read the new grapheme for the sound er. Can you say the sound er uh, each time I show you the digraph er? Uh. One more time. Oh, well done. Er, uh, that was excellent. Now let's read some words with our new grapheme for the sound er. Uh. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Oh, well done. Now let's read the word together. B -er -d bird. Did you get it right? I bet you did. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. Skirt. Skirt. Did you get it right? Again. Great job. 
sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. Girl. Girl. Did you get it right? Again. Great job. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. First. First. If you win the race, you come first. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. Sh -t shirt. Did you get it right? Great job! Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. Third. Third. Did you get it right again? Brilliant. Okay. Time to read them without any help. Off you go. You got them all right. Let's check. Read them with me. Bird. Skirt. Girl. First. Shirt. Third. Time to mix them up. Let's check you really know them. Can you read the words on the card without any help? Read them aloud. Off you go. You got them all right again. Amazing. Let's check. Read them with me. First. Bird. Skirt. Girl. Third. Shirt. Incredible. We are on fire today. Let's learn to read a tricky word. We are going to learn to read the word thought. Well, the first bit is easy, but the second bit is tricky. It says or, and the end is easy again. T. When I read it, I say th ought. Now read the word with me. Th ought, thought, awesome, brilliant. Read it yourself. What's the word? Sorry, what was that? Yes, well done. The word is th ought, thought. Now, let's practice reading this tricky word that you have met before. Can you remember the tricky bit? Well, the first bit is a bit tricky for some people. They say ah, but the second bit is fine, sk. Then the last bit is tricky. These letters say t. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. Asked, asked. Some people may say asked, asked, like me. Let's read another tricky word you know. Can you remember the tricky bit? Yes, the tricky bit is here. It says air. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. V, air, there. Let's read some sentences with our new grapheme in. Can you see any words with today's grapheme? Er, uh, here and 
here. Can you see any other words with digraphs? Or, a, uh, and are. Uh. Can you see the tricky word we read today? That's right, asked was our tricky word. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Excellent reading. Now let's read the sentence together. The girl asked to find the bird she saw in her garden. Do you see any birds out of your window? Now let's read the next sentence. Can you see any words with today's grapheme er? Uh? That's right, here and here. Can you see any other words with digraphs? That's right, th and oo. Can you see the tricky word we learnt today? Yes, thought is today's tricky word. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Excellent reading. Now let's read the sentence together. I thought this skirt and shirt were both blue. I wonder what colour their skirt and shirt were if they were not blue. Wow! Let's finish by spelling some words. Because if you can read a word, then you can have a go at spelling it. You will need your paper and something to write with. Let's spell two words with today's grapheme, er. Uh. Let's start by spelling bird. Segment the sounds with me, bird. B bird. Let's count how many sounds there are. Bird, b bird. That's three sounds. Watch me write a bird. Remember, we need Three sounds. B. Uh. D. B. Bird. Bird. I'm hiding. That means it's your turn to have a go. Write it down. Don't forget the digraph er. Uh. Let's check our spelling. B -er -d bird. Did you get it right? Great job. Let's try another one. Let's spell girl. Segment the sounds with me. Girl. G -girl. Let's count how many sounds there are. Girl. G -girl. girl. That's three sounds again. Watch me write girl. Remember, we need three sounds. Uh, ooh, G -l girl, hiding time, your go. Write it down. Don't forget the digraph, uh. You were quick that time. Let's have a look. Let's check our spelling. Girl, girl. Did you get it right? Great job, brilliant. Okay, let's learn to spell a tricky word. 
We can read the word thought, so now let's spell it. Segment the sounds with me. Thought. Thought. Let's count how many sounds there are. Thought. That's three sounds. Watch me write thought. How many sounds do I need? Three, that's right. Well, the first bit is easy. And then the next bit is tricky. It is written O-U-G-H. O-U-G-H or OR. And the final bit is easy. OR. Thought. Hi, time. Have a go. What's the tricky bit? Or is written O U G H. Write it down. Let's check. Or thought. Did you get it right? Great job! Now let's practice spelling this tricky word that you have seen before. Asked. Segment the sounds with me. Asked. Asked. Let's count how many sounds there are. Asked. Asked. That's four sounds. Watch me write asked. Remember, I need four sounds. Can you remember the tricky bit? Well, the first bit can be tricky. The A can say R for some people. R. Then it's K, that's easy. And the ending is tricky. The ED says Asked. Asked. Let's hide it. Have a go. Asked. What's the tricky bit? The letter A says R. And remember, you need ED on the end. Write it down. Asked. Asked. Did you get it right? Fantastic. Well done, children. You worked so hard practicing reading and spelling. See you again for another Letters and Sounds lesson. Bye. Well, there we go, everyone. Hope you enjoyed your Letters and Sounds lesson. You've worked really hard and we're so proud of you. Why don't you celebrate by sharing a lovely book together with someone at home?